rehearsal tonight to thank you for the marvelous job everyone is doing. I know our production of Berryella and Prince Berry Charming is going to be a delightful surprise for our baby Berrykins. Strawberry, you are doing a very fine job as Berryella. <laughs> oh, still, Priest. Oh, sorry, Berry Fairy Fashion Mother. Raspberry, you are also doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you, Plum. Lemon, our makeup artist hairstylist, and our writer Blueberry as Berryella's mean and jealous stepsister. <laughs> yeah. Our stage manager, Orange. <laughs> and our fabulous music director, Cherry Jam. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. Oh, and where is our Prince Fairy Charming? Hi, Barry and Tim. You what? Oh, no! You did? You didn't. Well, that's terrible. You get some rest and don't worry about a thing. That was Barry and Tim. Prince Barry Charming is now Prince Barry Limping. He broke his toe playing Kick the Apricot Pit. He's gonna be on crutches for three weeks. Great! And I just finished his costume. There aren't any other Berrykins in town as tall as Too Tall Timmy. Oh, no. I wouldn't say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, wait! Hold on! Help! <laughs> I told you to let her lead. Guys, you were absolutely marvelous. How fast can you do a rewrite? Barriella and Prince Barry on a long trip won't be back till next fall. Instead of a rewrite, how about a re-cast? Huh? Hi, it's Blueberry. Hey, Blueberry. How's everything in Berry Bitty City? Splendid, splendid. We're putting on a play. Wow, great. Give me a call when it opens. I'd love to come down and see it. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to be in it? Me? You want me to be in your play? Uh, I've never done any acting. I don't know. What would I have to do? Well, you'd be one of the stars. But what would I have to do? It's a terrific role. He's handsome, suave, debonair. But what do I have to do? Oh, well, you know, memorize some lines and say them. It's really fun. Please? Yeah! yeah. Please! <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. I, uh, whoa, <laughs> you're all there. Strawberry? She's at the cafe, making lunch for the rehearsal. Every member of the cast and crew gets a catered lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? 
Well, uh, if you really want me to. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Huck. I'll email a script. See you as soon as you can get here. Okay. We have a Prince Berry Charming! <laughs> but, but everyone in the land is invited to the first ball of the season. Why, why can't I go? Why, you have nothing fitting to wear. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> but couldn't I borrow something of yours? Ah, oh, the idea! Sister, do you hear her? Our vile stepsister has the nerve to demand one of my frocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I shall never dance with Prince Berry Charming. I... Oh, muffin crumbs. That's not in the script. No, I spilled. Speak not such nonsensical buffoonery. <laughs> oh, hi, Huck. No, I didn't mean you. We're rehearsing the play. Great, I'll tell them. Uh, no, we're at the cafe, getting dinner for the cast and crew. We'll be at the theater in two... No, three minutes. Excellent. See you there. Oh, and thanks again, Huck. I can't tell you what this means to us. You're a real prince. <laughs> He's ten minutes from town. Oh, it's so great he wanted to do it. Oh, he couldn't wait. Of course, the idea of having your lunches and dinners is what sealed the deal. <laughs> <sighs> I think that's everything. Shall we get this show on the road? Huh? Mm. If Prince Berry Charming doesn't show up soon, this whole production's gonna turn into a pumpkin. I've saved dinner for Huck. Whenever he gets here, didn't he say he was... Yeah. Said he was ten minutes away. That was hours ago! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Finally! Oh, Prince Berry Charming! Okay! May I present our very own Prince Berry Charming? <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> no, really, I, uh... <laughs> thanks, but I'm so sorry. I was almost here and realized I had left the script you emailed me at home. Had to turn all the way around, go all the way back, and... Well, I thought you'd all be asleep by now. We were. And dreaming of our Prince Berry Charming. Hey, well, <laughs> Charming, that's me, I guess. The play's great. Nice writing, Blueberry. Thank you, Huck. Coming from a great writer like you, I'm... well, thank you. And I've been practicing my lines. I... uh... Mm? Hi, Raspberry. What? Taking your measurements. <clears throat> Taking your measurements. For your costume? Me? That's me? It's going to be you when I get done with... <clears throat> when the costume is finished. A little makeup, a little work on the hair, and presto! Even you won't know you. <laughs> <laughs> well, charming. That's me. So, how about we rehearse the scene where Barriella meets Prince Barry Charming for the first time? I know that one. The scene where I say, Good evening, and may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting lady? <gasps> Whoa! You memorized your lines already? Well, pretty much, yeah. Excellent! Okay, Huck, right here. Bariella, you'll be entering. You see the prince. The prince will see Bariella. Mm -hmm. You're a prince. Yep. Regal. Right. Charming, but not snooty. Yes. Aristocratic, but not arrogant. Yep. You are going to impress her. Got it. Mood music! You're on. Hmm. Good evening. And may a <gasps> humble prince ask just who's this enchanting oh. lady? Huh? How's that? 
different. I'd even say unique. I think uh, we want to relax into the oh, character. Yes. It's just an everyday ball. Sure. You go to balls all the time. Yes. No big deal for a prince like you. Got it. Hi. So, good evening. And may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting <gasps> lady? <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Got an idea. Evening, ma'am. Another idea. Good evening. Good evening. Ow! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My fault. Good evening. This is your humble prince asking the question. <gasps> Who is this enchanting lady? It's gonna be a long night. Oh, Prince Berry Charming, I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal... Cut the music! Uh-huh. It's okay. It's all right. I'm kind of thinking that isn't what Barriella would feel for the prince at this moment. No, it's what I was feeling for my feet. I was stepping on them. Huh? See, I, uh, don't, uh, I don't know how to dance. Oh, well, no problem. Hmm. Our choreographer will have you waltzing in no time. Who's that? Me. Music! <laughs> That's good. You're eek. getting it just, yeah. maybe not so eek. If you could just uh, cut the music! I see what you mean. Another idea! Well, he's getting better, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've had worse students. Not many, but some. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry. I'll learn it. I'll learn it. You know, it's late. How about we break? Everything will mm -hmm. go better after a good night's sleep. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's been working really hard. Let's call it a night. I'll practice my dancing in the morning. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Blueberry, huh? did you say he really wanted to do this? Oh, yeah. He couldn't wait. I mean, I was excited. I'm pretty sure he was, too. Why? It's just... He doesn't seem to be having a good time. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. Well, what do you think? Will it do? I guess it'll have to. I think it'll make a great Barriella coach. Are you sure you looked everywhere? I'm telling you, Ed, there isn't a pumpkin to be had. It's just not pumpkin season, you see. Yeah. Okay. What? What is it? How do we get it to the stage? Strawberry. Morning, Huck. How's the practicing going? Really great. A little more practice and your feet will be safe at the dress rehearsal tonight. <laughs> 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 no, you'll be fine. We'll have fun. Are you having fun? Oh, well, sure. Wouldn't want to let you all down, would I? It's really good of you to do this for us. But we wouldn't want you to do it if it didn't feel comfortable for you. And fun, you know? Oh, sure. Of course. <laughs> well, don't wear out your feet before dress rehearsal tonight. Come 
on, fellas. Let's move this melon. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Here, take this bag of dog biscuits and run that way. Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. I'll direct from outside. Uh, hey, hey, wait. Hold on. And you're off. Uh, can you try to be here left a little? What's that? Last rehearsal, it was 20. Tell you what, let's take a break from dancing. Great. Cherry can run through your song with you. Song? Yeah! Whoa! 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, Plum, how do you like Barry Yellow's pumpkin coach? I love it. Plum? Except it looks like a watermelon. It is a watermelon. Pumpkins are out of season, but no problem. One pumpkin coming up. We'll have her finished before the curtain rises and Ed says, giddy up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a watermelon? What else can go wrong? Plum. Yes? There's something I should tell you. Did you hear? The prince is searching uh, the entire. Uh, searching the entire land for the girl who left the ball at midnight last night. Does he know who she is? Blueberry. Oh, hi, Plum. Just bringing lunch over now. Huh? You're kidding. Okay. I'll tell them. The Prince Charming song is out. Huck can't sing. You both look great, if I do say so myself. Now, huh? don't worry. You know what they say. Bad dress rehearsal, great show. Or is it bad dress rehearsal, bad show? Just remember, no matter what happens, the show must go on. We'll be fine. Just have fun. Hmm? At least there's nobody here to see me if I mess up. Oh, no. That's not till tomorrow night. The place uh, will be packed. It will? Sure. We're giving the show for all the Barrican kids. Y you mean there's going to be an, an audience? Of course. That's the whole point. Okay, you ready, Huck? 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 Oh, no. Curtain's going up. <laughs> What's with him? Worst case of stage fright I've ever seen. He can't move. What'll we do? The show must go on. Oh, Prince Berry Charming, I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal ball. Here, at this royal ball. Why, thank you, Berriella. And may I say that you dance divine, divine, divinely. You dance. Devani. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls in the land. You know what we say at the castle. If the hat fits, wear it. Let me try it on first. No, me first. Me! And now, now, patience, please. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. I am sorry. It seems that you are not the one I danced with at last night's ball. What do you think? Is it working? Working is... isn't... well, in a 
isn't the word I would have chosen. Hmm. So, what does everybody want to hear for tonight's story time? I know. Because tomorrow night you're all having a special surprise, how about I read you... Fairy Yella and Prince Fairy Charming. Aww! We heard it! I'm the we are oh, we oh, oh, my goodness! Excuse me, I've got to make a phone call. Don't worry, Huck. Maybe performing just isn't your best thing. You know, like, writing isn't my best thing. Really, huh? Excuse me, Huck. Hello? Hi, Blueberry. What? Hmm? Don't be sorry. It's actually not such bad news as you might think. Uh, thank you, Blueberry. I'll call you later. Listen, Huck, we have a problem I think you might be able to help us with. Does it involve acting, dancing, or singing? <laughs> well, I just found out Barryella and Berry Prince Charming isn't the Berrykin Kid's favorite story. Huh? Do you think you and Blueberry could write a different play for us? Now that'd be something I'd like to co-star in. Okie dokie. That'll do it. One pumpkin coach at your service. Uh, can you make sure you put a pumpkin coach in the new play? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bus? I don't know. Look. There it is. Come on. Let's get it back. We gotta go on a picnic. Pull it in. Hee-ho, 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 hee-ho. Huh? Oh. Oh. for your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Very good picnic! Somebody forgot their phone, Strawberry! Here! Huh? I know who this belongs to! Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was... Oh! Ah! Uh, oh. Uh, oh, excuse me! Here, let me help you out. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> there. Finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. 
It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. No, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 What? Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby berrykins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up or, or to check if the date was taken or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Plum, do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <clears throat> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you see Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best 
joke she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? That shit's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it? Gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh uh uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid. Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding. I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the docks. What? Oh, Strawberry, it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, 
a lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface, Sir Highness Longface, before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Ooh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, <laughs> are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No, I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's um, nice. Huh? Gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. 
and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. <laughs> Delivery for Barrick and Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. Oh, great. Thanks. Oh, oh please, Ulters. <laughs> wow. It's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. Oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, oh what's great on here? <laughs> Let's get to work. We'll have cherry jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Oh, it's oh, really I wish we're gonna miss her. <laughs> 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 It's the boss! Oh, you! Wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Wait! <gasps> I got it! That gadget we got, we just didn't get it. Get it? Got it! Yet the dow look to doom lap up. Just Barry and Byron installing a new set of lug nuts. Very large lug nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. <laughs> I lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good
good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Wow! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I, because what if it's, if it's not, what if she says, who? Raspberry, the dog trainer? Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make six thousand and addresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well, maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame! The fortune! The fans! Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes, uh, well, I guess. Yes! <gasps> What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate, right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> You have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed! Oh, come yeah! on! Wonderful! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Oh, uh, yep. oh uh, Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Very Big City? Uh... We should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm. What's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both! Better to be prepared. Good luck! Wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents 
tickets for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls. I mean, wow. Step aside. Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City, the fabulous Raspberry. Oh. She eats up the fashion scene. Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look. It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Can't wait to see that show. What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blood Scarlet Cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. This and... Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. 
Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No, no guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. Oh, this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing will be the same. Without you, we won't feel complete. Without you, said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. 
Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for Raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the Raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me! Uh, hiya, Raspberry! Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice! <laughs> That's where we're going! The Berry Bitty City Boat Race! I can't believe they didn't remind me! Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. Look! Raspberry's here! She does care about us! Let's go back and restart the race! Hi, Raspberry. Glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh, oh I... Oh, no! Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party. For you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that. <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> Could you do this to me, this maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind. wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home.